The Eastern Visayas State University Burawin Campus has come a long way from its humble beginnings, from simple native classrooms and offices to concretized buildings. The campus development in terms of academic and physical aspects was spearheaded by a team of competent administrators since its conversion to a state university status on August 7, 2004. The Eastern Visayas State University Borawin Campus, being an agricultural school, made the following significant accomplishments in the fields of curriculum and instruction, research, extension, and production. The same hereby presents its accomplishment report from calendar year 2004 to June 2020. Curricular development, we started with that bat program. That, a two-year technical, and bat, a four-year course in agriculture. Uh, after which, we offered BSE, majors in English, science, and mathematics, to interest our curricular program. Thirdly, we opened Bitihili. BT Healy, Bachelor of Home Economics and Livelihood Education for elementary school teachers. Fourthly, we offer BSBE program. We cannot simply offer additional curriculum without uh, the feasibility study for approval by the, municipal, by the Academy Council and by the Board. So we have the BSB program. Those were the curriculum that uh, were offered when I left uh, Ibsu Burawin in 2008. They were uh, integrated in a uh, former in LIT in 2000. And uh, LIT was converted into Ibsu uh, in 2004. So during the time of uh, President Bilian Iba. During my time, I encouraged my faculty for curricular uh, scholarship and professional upgrading. In order to gain a specialized knowledge to advance in their field of expertise, Dr. Namia along with some faculty members enrolled in graduate classes. 15% of the faculty members graduated with a master's degree while 10% graduated from the doctorate level. I sent DCPD to uh, Dean Biska as a research assistant for one year. An experimental research was conducted by Associate Professor Daisy T. Pidere entitled Utilization of Distillery Effluent as Organic Fertilizer of Selected Vegetables under Burawin Conditions. This research activity has been implemented in order to increase seed germination and plant height. After which, uh, we were able to complete one research, an experimental, and not descriptive. Mm, one accomplishment, the conversion of Dean Deborah, Don Vicente Orestes from Maldives Agricultural College into Borawen Polytechnic College. The Deborah, uh, is, its curricular program is limited to that uh, two-year diploma in agricultural technology. It is not allowed to offer bachelor in agricultural technology. So our curricular program is such limitation. Uh, I made a proposal 
and submit it to the congressman, congressman apostol din. Um, and he was able to facilitate the approval of converting the school from Liborak to Borawen Polytechnic College. We should have not been integrated in IBSO if we do not offer higher curricular programs. If we they do not belong to the higher education program, we cannot be integrated to IBSO. No, I am pleased to grade the IBSO Borawen Bacules on its 16th founding anniversary as IBSO Borawen Campus. assigned to the campus, I felt upon my first assumption, first day of assumption, that there is indeed a very challenging development that must be, um, should I say, implemented. I soon realized that the, the facade of the entire university must be developed. That's why uh, from, the, from the view outside, from the gate, uh, I, I, I I made it a point to build a an entrance that would be uh, different from the uh, from the original one. So after the gate and the guardhouse, the um, uh, the covered walk, the use of the internet. For the, I think that was the first time that the school have an internet during my uh, my stint. Uh, for the academic purposes, I have the. Um, uh, build, we, we, we develop uh, one room and make it an ICT lab and uh, at the same time lecture room. During my time was the modern equip, the most modern equipment of the entire uh, campuses, of, including the main campus at times. And then the renovation of the HRDC, which has now become a very uh, central and focal um, activity center of the university. Dr. Avestris focused on adding more programs in order to attract more students to enroll in the campus. These programs were considered in demand in the areas of concern. In 2009, the Burawin campus offered three new programs in the undergraduate level. These programs are Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Technology, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, and Bachelor of Science in Office Administration. Also. The Borawin campus for the first time offered programs in advanced studies, namely Master in Education, Major in Administration and Supervision, and Master in Public Resource Management. In 2010, new set of programs were added to the school offerings, namely Bachelor of Environmental Science, two-year preparatory courses in Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communication Engineering, and lastly, Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering. In order to give more choices, in 2011, two new programs were offered in the undergraduate degree programs. These are the two-year preparatory courses in the Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. Further, three new graduate programs were added, namely, Master of Arts in Instruction and Supervision, Major in Language and Instruction, Master of Rural Development, and Master of Science in Information Technology. The partnership of the campus with the local government unit of Borawen paved its way to the establishment of Technogabay Center, 
a one-stop service facility that would cater the needs of farmers, entrepreneurs, and other clients in the municipality. The center has provided technology services and trainings to local clients such as technical assistance, sources of planting materials, animal stocks, and other agricultural inputs. This is for as far as I recall, these are only some of uh, I can remember to be my important contribution. Thank you and good day again. Yeah. Good day everyone. I would like to share to you my simple accomplishments as the campus director of the EVSU Barawin campus. I assumed office on June 13, 2013 as the campus director. However, my administration has been tested by the onslaught of Typhoon Yolanda, thereby rehabilitating and restoring its ravages thereof has been a gargantum task. The rehabilitation and repair of the following buildings destroyed by Typhoon Yolanda were conducted. Academic building to one-story library and school clinic. One story of academic building. Restoration of roofing of the vocational agriculture building. Construction of one-story technology building. Repair of IT laboratory building. Repair of admin building with cubicles per office. Extension building for the office of the campus director. Construction of farm shop building, construction of covered walk, science laboratory, construction of agriculture building, repair of roofing of its RDC building and its removable divisions, construction of CR at the office of the science building, repainting of all existing buildings, and the last but not the least, repair of TLE building. As of November 30th, 2017, the Barawin campus had a total of seven programs accredited by the Accrediting Agency of Chartered Colleges and Universities in the Philippines, Incorporated. Six programs were accredited for Level 1 status, while one program passed the preliminary survey visit. In terms of student development, students excel both in academics and extracurricular activities in areas like campus journalism, photojournalism, investigative writing, copy reading and headline writing, promotional video, leadership, filmmaking, and culture and the arts. EVSU Borawan students took the TESDA accreditation for National Competency Skills Assessment and showed a remarkable passing percentage in computer system servicing, bartending, food and beverage, front office, and housekeeping. A major accomplishment of the campus in terms of extension services was the conduct of several skills training in providing sustainable livelihood program to the four piece beneficiaries, activities like dim sum making, dress making, meat processing, hair cutting, manicure and pedicure, napkin folding, and table skirting. This extension activity was made possible through the established linkage of the university with the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Another accomplishment of the campus was the purchase of the needed facilities and equipment for students' classroom activities, such as speech laboratory, science laboratory equipment, video conferencing system, and other essential equipment amounting to over 28 million pesos. These equipment and facilities were funded through the Commission on Higher Education. With these accomplishments we have, I am very happy to share this to the Evsonians 
or to the Ibsenistas. And I would like to greet Nolisdan the University President Dr. Dominador O. Aguirre Jr. on the occasion of the 16th Charter Day of the University. It is worthwhile working with all the people at EMSO. And though I have retired, still my heart remains and will be forever grateful with the people in EMSO. Thank you so much and mabuhay everyone. As the former campus director of Eastern Visayas State University, Boran Campus, may I have the honor to inform you of the different accomplishments together with the officials of the EBSO Boran Campus. I want you to know that there, there were lots of accomplishments, and these are the highlights. First and foremost was the empowerment of the officials of the campus. Through professionalization, of these newly installed officials, they were made to attend trainings and other national forum in order for them to be empowered. The second highlight of my accomplishment was the construction of buildings or infrastructure. A six-room building was constructed wherein the general education students and other students from other departments just like HRT, IT, Education and Agriculture will have their classes in that new six-room building. The next accomplishment was the uh, establishment of the CCNA Academy in the campus which was started by sending out the IT teachers just like Mr. Ian Manico and Mr. Christopher Raga to CCNA training in, this, uh, in Manila and in the different cities of the Philippines. In the field of research, the instructors were made to attend research for in the different regions and cities of the Philippines. And one of them was able to have an international publication through the eagerness and highly motivated faculty member, Mr. Rodel Tang. The newly constructed concrete road from the front of BEMD building to ICT building has been a huge help for walking around the area. For extension services, the teachers of EBSO Borowin campus were able to conduct extension service in different barangays of Borowin Leyte, just like Barangay San Diego, Barangay Mahagnaw, and they were also able to forge partnership with DSWD on how to conduct extension service with the different barangay folks. In addition, the internet connection through the Globe Philippines was able to help the students download articles and other ideas which were able to help them to come up with some research, some learning materials. And this, in a way, helped our students gain more knowledge in terms of education. Lastly, may I share this for forethought to the faculty members of Ebsu Borawan Campus and to the faculty members of Eastern Design State University that each of us or each of you should be very committed to their work. They should learn how to love their work and they should strive hard to earn more degrees and to be more professional in the performance of their task in order to serve 
efficiently and effectively our students and our people in this part of the region. Thank you and good luck. designated by President Aguirre as Campus Director of Absu Burawin Campus in January 30, 2020. So this is roughly my, I've been uh, almost seven months here as Campus Director. So before I uh, came here, I had envisioned that the, this campus would become <clears throat> an integrated agri-farm ecotourism hub in Region 8. Uh, it's quite ambitious, but uh, nothing is hard if you have the courage to try. So, how much more if we help each other? I believe we can achieve greater heights for this campus. With regard to instruction, as the primary primary consideration for this campus being an educational institution, when I started here, it was hampered by the occurrence of the global COVID-19, the pandemic, and uh, the members resorted to uh, <clears throat> means, modular means, for example, to finish the school year, so it was quite a challenge. Nevertheless, the EBSU, the EBSU system uh, sponsored learning management system platforms for their faculty members in order to deliver knowledge, continue to deliver more knowledge to the students. So we'll be both excited and uh, anxious at the same time what will be the outcome of the new normal. There are around three to four papers already accepted for publication, international publication, and then it really made me happy because uh, it's a plus for the campus and for the entire EPSU system. For our extension, I'm also happy to uh, let you know that uh, three extension research papers relative to extension have been submitted to the main campus to Professor Tito Aure. And it was, of course, with the effort of our uh, extension coordinator, Ms. Uh, Richelle Del Pilar. And for our production, there have been many setbacks that we have experienced here in the campus, many losses, <clears throat> like for example the production of test booklets, uh, PA uniforms, rentals of the canteen, so uh, it's, that's a big loss towards, for our production. The order of the president, if President Duterte has built, build, build. President Aguirre for this campus instructed us to plant, plant, plant. That's why there have been uh, some areas here which have not been cultivated for the past 20 years where uh, Mr. Manuel Raferzo and his workers cultivated those land areas for rice, for crops, for vegetables and many other <coughs> Uh, agri farm products and uh, Mr. Referzo reported to me that in the past six months from January to June of 2020 the campus was able to earn roughly 287,000 pesos and uh, we're still counting in relation to the charters, charter days, charter month celebration of the campus, I would like to greet everyone, especially to our dear president, Dr. Dominador O. Akiri Jr. Congratulations, sir, for all the things that you have done for the campus, for the entire EBSU system, faculty, for the non-teaching, for everyone, for the students. 
have made a difference for the campus. You have achieved so much for the campus and I congratulate you on that and uh, happy Charter Day to each and every Hemsunista. Thank you. As we face a new challenge in the delivery of our services due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Avsu Burawin Campus is now on its effort to strengthen its programs, projects, and activities in order to provide the best education to the students and serve the community fervently. Avsu Burawin Campus Building opportunities, transitioning to the new normal.